Hey guys, Mike here from Build Assets Online, and today I wanted to go over just briefly how we handle getting telephone calls to our dropshipping sites, um, the virtual number service that we use for our websites, and what I think is you know, the best virtual phone number service for small businesses, and that is uh, Grasshopper. So Grasshopper is essentially the only tool that we use to actually handle calls for our high ticket drop shipping sites. And if you're not familiar with Grasshopper or kind of what a virtual phone system is, essentially what a virtual phone system allows you to do is you can buy a toll free number, you can buy a local number, and I'm gonna go into the differences later. Um, so you buy a number and then you, know, you put it on your website and then when someone calls that number, the virtual phone service essentially just forwards it over to your cell phone and then you know you see who's calling you see what store it is then you just answer and proceed from there so yeah um so with grasshopper we use a bunch of different features on it and it really helps us um kind of maneuver our business in a you know make make things super easy to run from your phone and kind of just minimize the amount of phone work that we need to do in general so the first thing grasshopper um, prompts you to do once you you know go to the website is you have to select the number that you're going to be using so you can either use a toll-free number like an 800 number or you can use a local number and so we've done both in the past we've used Google Voice which gives you a free local number and that's an option that you can use you know if you don't want to spend money um, grasshopper is I think about $24 a month right now for the most basic service and that's what we use even on our you know our big websites but so when you have a local number, um, you kind of are coming off as a small, you know, mom and pop type store, you know, maybe people will see you and they'll say, okay, this person is in my area. Uh, they'll recognize the area code and you can get business like that. That is a plus of having a local phone number, having a, an 800 number kind of gives you more authority, especially if you can get a number that is actually, you know, starts in eight zero zero. Um, you can get 800 numbers that are, for example, like um, 844 or, you know, 832, <clears throat> something like that. And yeah, again, that will just give you more authority. I think when people see, you know, 800, that um, kind of gives a, a bit of trust for your website. And yeah, um, for our bigger stores, we use 800 numbers and we've we've tried local numbers in the past and it doesn't seem to affect sales that greatly. We have made some pretty, pretty big sales um, on our sites that had local phone numbers. So whichever you choose doesn't really matter. Uh, you'll be the ultimate judge of that. And then so next what we do is we set up our call extensions. So when they call, when a customer calls your phone number that you've bought, uh, essentially what we have, what we have is they'll be taken to a greeting page uh, or a greeting recording and it'll say, you know, for... Um, existing orders hit this number for new orders hit this number or just to talk to a representative hit this number and so when you first um, are getting started this isn't as necessary and we've definitely built our business um, without having any extensions but nowadays you know it makes it really really easy when it comes to choosing what calls you're gonna take you say you know it's outside of regular business hours and you have a call coming through say it's at like 9 p.m. And you're not doing anything, but you know, what the heck, you pick it up. Uh, so you can tell if someone's calling because they want to buy something or if they're an existing customer, maybe they have a question about tracking or something like that. And so typically what we do is we take calls um, for existing, you know, existing customers during our scheduled business hours. And, you know, we have, um, we have employees in the Philippines, we have employees in the U S that we've tested and tried out over time. And, um, we have a couple that we work with now. So yeah, they'll take calls during business hours for existing customers. And then um, say, you know, a customer wants to order something and it's past business hours. I will select those calls to still go to my phone. And so, you know, if I'm not doing anything and I want to try and close a sale, I can do that. Of course, you know, depending on, again, how you want to design your life, how you want to, you know, treat your store as, you know, treat it as a business. You don't have to do that. That's just something that we do to kind of um, weed out what's going to be 
productive and kind of what we want to do throughout the day. And so I'm not saying you should always kind of defer existing order customers and not answer them. You definitely should. Um, but you should just definitely have set business hours so they know when they can call and speak with someone. And so what Grasshopper allows you to do is you can just set up different extensions, say extension one, extension two, extension three, and um, you can toggle on your phone which extensions you want your phone number to be associated with. So if I'm ever gonna go do something, you know, um, me and Joe do jujitsu. So if I'm gonna go to a class, if I'm, if I'm on any phones, I'll just, you know, just switch myself off, put it onto one of my uh, virtual assistants, and then they'll be able to take the call. It takes me like two seconds to do it. And um, yeah, it's a super convenient thing. Uh, what else do they have? So actually a new feature that they're rolling out that we're experimenting with is texting. So, you know, obviously customers are used to, they're used to live chatting, they're used to calling, but now Grasshopper has a functionality to where you can text customers. And so I think this is gonna be a pretty big thing in the future, just because people are, you know, they're on their phone so much you have um, services like the Facebook messengers that are really blowing up. And so what this allows you to do is just text people from your actual grasshopper, your 800 number. And um, it's super convenient for, you know, customers cause they don't have to answer you right away. And they don't, you know, kind of calling sometimes is intimidating and uh, it just, just makes the process smoother. And some people just prefer to text. And so, yeah, we've been experimenting with that it's uh, gone well and it just reduces, you know, the actual phone time that you need. Um, and so you could also, what we do is we set up greetings. So, you know, you can either have someone that you know do this or you can just write a quick quick script and hire someone on Fiverr to do it. But um, you can just record, you know, your main greeting, say when someone calls, they'll say, you know, hi, thank you for calling, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll, you know, read off the extensions and then the customer will know how to proceed. And then you set the hold music that you want. So it could either be, you know, um, nothing or, you know, Grasshopper has different sounds you can choose from. And if no one answers, then you can select the, the voicemail greeting that you want. And this is super important. And this is um, a trick that we, we implemented around like a year ago. And that is, if no one answers, we have a very specific greeting that they get that says, you know, hi, sorry, our phone lines are busy or it's past business hours. And if you want to, you know, get an answer quicker, just email us at this email address. And kind of what that does is it prevents phones, phone lines from really going crazy and um, kind of diverts customers to email instead of call, especially if you're, you know, not available to take a call. Um, it's much easier to see an email when you're around to handle it and kind of negotiate things that way. And so it's um, it's just a small thing like that, that it kind of saves you time, it saves you extra frustration, where, you know, we've had it in the past where if we didn't have a good voicemail set up, a customer would call multiple times and try to sort of get an answer, but they wouldn't know why we weren't answering. Um, so that's why it's important to have set business hours, it's important to have good greetings and it's important to have different extensions so people know you know what to dial and you kind of know how to handle them and it makes hiring a lot easier um, when you go to hire your first virtual assistant you can just have them do the existing orders first while they get familiar with your stores they get familiar with how suppliers operate and things like that so uh, yeah that's how we handle phone inquiries using grasshopper and um, we have only tried a few different virtual call forwarding services, but we really we really feel strongly about Grasshopper. Um, you know, anytime they've ever had to support, you know, call support, they've been super helpful. One time, you know, we got like a thousand calls from like um, essentially someone hacked our number, not into our actual Grasshopper account, but they they were spoofing uh, spam calls from our number. And essentially Grasshopper, you know, they had, it wasn't their fault at all, but they gave us a free month. They, you know, offered to do a free number switch for us. And, um, yeah, they've, they've always been legit for, you know, the three years that we've used them. So yeah. Um, hopefully you're getting started on your stores and yeah, when, when it's time, I would definitely 
check out Grasshopper and uh, let us know what you think. Take care. And don't forget, guys, you can check out our link in the description box to start a free trial. Um, that way, if your store is ready, you can start getting calls and closing sales right away. See you in the next one.